Alright boys and girls, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Super GR MK5 in Roblox Drive World. So yeah, if you guys really enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, like the video, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my entertaining content. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video boys and girls. Alright, so before we were reviewing the Super GR MK5, let's find 5 part in Japan map since many of you guys are struggling to find a part location in Japan. So... I'm gonna help you guys, so that way you guys doesn't have to be suffered. Well, yeah, I'm gonna help you guys, alright? Anyway, so let's start finding it. Alright, so the first part location is teleport to the delivered trailer and follow my lead. So just follow my lead and go over here and go under the tunnel. So basically, you have to go this way. There we go. And you will see the part when you go under to the tunnel. And slow down by the way, so you will see the part right over here And yep, right over there, there we go Now hit that part and on to the next part Alright, so the next part location is teleport to the around Japan and follow my lead So basically you just want to go over here and just go over there and you will see that part There we go, so on to the next part Alright, so if you guys see right here, this part right over here So just zoom in and you will see that part right here, here. Just click this and deliver food, teleport, there we go, once you teleport, go backward, and you will see that part right over there, so hit that part, and on to the next part, alright, so if you see right over here, the part over here, so teleport to this Inca Street Circus, and just follow my path, that's it, just follow my lead, there we go, did you guys follow my lead? Well, hopefully you guys are. So that way you guys know the part over here. And yep, there we go. And hit that part. There we go. And I'm kind of... Okay, never mind. We're fine. And there we go. Hit that part. So on to the final part. Alright, so teleport to this way. Yama Street Circus. And follow my lead. And there we go, there's the final part, and enjoy the part location guys, so you don't have to get sulfur, alright? I'm basically getting sulfur right now. And now, let's review the Supra GR MK5. Alright, so I'm on the weekly quest, and yes, in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Super 5 Extreme, as known the Supra GR MK5. And also, uh, for the part location guy in Japan, if you guys haven't saw it in the beginning of the video, yeah, you guys did it probably, alright? Anyways, yeah, this car is kind of interested though. Look at the car model on this. It's kind of pretty interested though. And it's kind of look like the racetrack cars, you know. And finish 7 out of 7 weekly quests. So you basically have to finish all of the weekly quests to get this car. And whoa, play 50 races. Oh, wow. Okay, they basically make it longer. And 200,000 drive score. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. That was, okay. That's a painful grind. All right. Good luck to you guys. All right. <laughs> Anyway, so now let's hear the startup. Okay, the startup is interesting. The rev is actually pretty good, and the, the horsepower is 879 horsepower. Okay, not bad. So let's go over there. Starting right here in 3, 2, 1, and boom. Oh, look at the acceleration. Yo, it's insane. Oh my god, we're fully stuck, and it's 879 horsepower. Dude, this thing is crazy. So the max top speed is 189 miles per hour already? Wow. Alright, so now here we go. Fully boost. Boom. Oh lord. 221 miles per hour with fully boost on. And I hit the bridge, but that's fine. And the handling should be good because it's fully stuck. Alright, look at this. The grip is so nice. Like I said before, this car is definitely made for a racetrack. Like, no cab. Look at this. Alright, so now let's fully upgrade with this car. Engines, engine swap, we're gonna leave a stock engine, piston, raise piston, crank, raise crank, exhaust, raise exhaust, aspirations, raise turbo, intake, raise intake, clutch, raise clutch, nitrons, raise nitrons, oh yeah, tires, okay, raise tires, brakes, raise brakes. Does this car body kit? Surely it will. Oh, it does. Okay, canard. Okay, we already have it. Livery, we already have it. Front mod, we don't need that. Hood pins. Okay, we already have it. Bumper stickers, nope. Toe hooks, nope. Root mod, nope. Spoilers, uh, we already have it. So I'm gonna leave a stock one. 
even though it's better. Uh, banners, uh, we don't have pan banners. Okay, you know what? Should we get the banners or not? I think we should. Look at that, it looks sick. And the license plate, we're gonna put um, concept, I guess? It's a concept card though, right? Definitely. So for the visual and the gearbox, this might take some time. All right, so I did the gear tuning setup on the Toyota Supra GRMK5, and this car is actually surprisingly good, bro. Here's my reaction. Check up the screen, bro. Wait, this is my reaction right now on this car, bro. Anyway, so let me go to the gearbox, and for the swipe gearbox, I recommend for you guys to use 10 speed because it can actually hit 440 miles per hour. Were over, but it would decrease it by a little, bro. This thing is actually freaking phenomenal. And yeah, um, I'm gonna screenshot this, punch up the screen so that way you guys can copy and paste it. And yeah, let me apply this and let's drive this thing. Startup and rev is actually pretty good, way louder than the stock one. All right, so starting right here in three, two, one and boom there we go the acceleration is insane already at 230 miles per hour 250 miles per hour is crazy all right we're gonna go fully acceleration and the horsepower is 1693 horsepower almost 1700 horsepower which is impressively good and we're already at like 370 miles per hour. Dude, this thing is freaking phenomenal. Let's keep going. All right, here we go. Down the hill in three, two, one, boom. Let's go. But look at this, bro. It's insane. The handily, yo, bro, look at this. The handily is actually pretty dang good. I'm kind of curious about the race on this car, dude. Like, this car versus Bolai, well, Bolai definitely gonna win. This car versus Pangani, Pangani definitely gonna win. This car versus the um, Super GT500 is gonna be insane. All right, let's go. Oh my God, yo, this is it. Okay, 440 miles per hour, dude. This thing is incredibly fast, dude. Oh my God, still hit it, but though. And let me show you guys the tune suspension real quick. All right, so for the front height, make it like a little bit lower over here, and the rear height all the way down here in between. And the stiffness all the way to the top, and the steering angle lever stock, like everything, bro. This thing is actually freaking phenomenal, dude. Like, no cap. So, you guys get this car? Well, yes, you should, bro. Like, this thing is actually freaking phenomenal. And definitely might be faster than the GT500, the Apex GT, all the weekly cars, to be honest. Like, insane. And yeah, one of the best weekly car I would say. And yeah, um, that's it for the video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my content. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.